a little bit of potato, some sausage, mushroom, and some gravy. That's good. <laughs> That's actually really good. Today we are going to be making a dish somewhat inspired by bangers and mash since it is St. Patrick's Day and I am feeling festive. So when it comes to bangers and mash, I think that we all mostly associate it as a British food, but it does have Irish roots as well. So this is a really fun and inexpensive dish that you can make for St. Patrick's Day or any day really. And I've never tried bangers and mash before. I even was in Ireland several years back and I don't remember trying it when I was there either. I tried Guinness stew, fish and chips, all of the kind of traditional foods, but I don't remember trying bangers and mash. So not only is this going to be my first time making it, it will be my first time trying it, and we're doing it all from Dollar Tree. And of course, it is definitely not my intention for this video to tarnish any sort of food culture or heritage. I'm just making recipes with Dollar Tree ingredients, but I do sometimes find inspiration in various cultures. So of course we are going to need the mash. For this I am using these buttery homestyle instant potatoes. My bangers will be these smoked Polish sausages. Uh, Dollar Tree doesn't have a whole lot to choose from in the realm of sausages. They have this and they have regular smoked sausage. I do have both and I'm not quite sure if there's much of a distinction as far as Dollar Tree goes. I'm pretty sure they're about the same but they do package them differently. So I'm sure there's a very minor difference between them as far as this kind of cheap brand goes. We are also going to need a gravy. So here I have a brown gravy mix. This comes with three packets per box. So you can use one today and save the other two for later. Now typically this is served with caramelized onions in the gravy, but my Dollar Tree doesn't really have any of their frozen pepper stir fry. If your store has that, go ahead and use that. I'm going to be using mushrooms today. And lastly, this is a side dish just for a green vegetable. I'm going to be using some frozen asparagus spears. So I'm actually going to get the asparagus started first because I need some time to roast in the oven. And I am roasting it from frozen, which is how I normally do it. And this is intended to be a meal to feed two people. So that's why it's not a whole lot of asparagus here. It's basically just going to be two servings of vegetables. So total cost for this is $6.25 to feed two people. So here's my frozen asparagus on a metal sheet pan and I'm gonna toss this in a 400 degree oven and once it starts to roast up, we will toss it in some oil, salt and pepper and let it get good and crisp. The only other prep work we have to do is to prep our gravy. So it says to mix it in one cup of cold water and you do wanna use cold water because this is a cornstarch based gravy. If you use hot water, it will just clump up and not dissolve. Now we can go ahead and move on over to our stove top for the rest of the dinner. So I've got my skillet preheating over medium to medium high heat and I'm gonna start by browning up my sausages. The goal is to get some good color on the sausages all the way around as much as you can. Sausages are looking pretty good. We're getting some good color on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these off to a plate and add a splash of oil into my skillet along with my drained mushrooms. Once our mushrooms are starting to get some golden brown color on them, I am going to pour in the gravy. and just let that cook and thicken up. In the meantime, I'm going to bring two cups of water to a boil to mix our mashed potatoes. My asparagus has also started to brown up, so at this point I'm going to add a drizzle of oil. And then of course you can season it with whatever you would like. Lemon pepper is a good one, Parmesan cheese, anything you've got. I use salt and pepper just because it is the cheapest. Give that a light toss just to make sure that everything is coated. And then this can go back in the oven to finish browning up. I brought two cups of water up to a boil and we're just gonna whisk in our potatoes. And with that, we are ready to serve our bangers and mash. So as I mentioned, this is a dinner for two. So I'm going to plate this up into two plates, starting with my potatoes. And then each plate is going to get two of our little sausages, followed by a good spoonful of our mushroom gravy. 
And lastly, our roasted asparagus, which is actually very crispy at this moment, which means it's going to be delicious. It's kind of a pitiful amount of asparagus compared to the amount of potatoes, but <laughs> I swear these bags used to have just a smidge more asparagus in them than this one does. And then there you have it. This is our bangers and mash Dollar Tree dinner for two. But the real question is, how does it taste? Some of these ingredients I have never tried before, particularly this brown gravy. So I am excited to try it. I've never had it with this kielbasa smoked Polish sausage. So let's give that a taste. It's actually not bad. It's a little salty and I can't really tell if the salt is coming from the gravy or from the sausage. Let me try them both by themselves just to see. I feel like it's just both of them are slightly salty and so the combination of the two makes it a little bit more salty than normal. It actually goes together really well. Now for the potatoes with gravy, which is just sheer perfection because you really can't get much better than potatoes and gravy. I'd say the only thing better than potatoes and gravy is like potatoes and corn or potatoes and cheese. The jarred mushrooms are pretty good too. They're very meaty, but it is bangers and mash. So we kind of have to try a literal combination of all of it. A little bit of potato, some sausage, mushroom, and some gravy. That's good. <laughs> That's actually really good. And how is Dollar Tree's frozen asparagus? Now, I've actually had their frozen asparagus several times. I do... The last time I had it, it was much thinner than this. Um, and I kind of preferred it that way because I like my asparagus very like thin and soft rather than like woody. So let's try this new one. The asparagus is actually really delicious. It's not woody at all. It doesn't really taste like cheap asparagus. I've had cheap asparagus. So I do know that there's a bit of a distinction. I used to buy the Walmart brand of frozen asparagus and the stalks that came out were like this big and they were just straight up wood. But these are actually really nice and tender. They still have a good bit of crisp to them because of how we cook them. You get that salt and pepper aspect. It is overall a very good and hearty meal. And a lot of what I like to do here is to review Dollar Tree food items because sometimes you might not know what they have. Is it good? And so sometimes things are a little on the salty side. That's pretty common because it's a processed food and it's a cheap food. But in this case, the kielbasa with the gravy on its own seems very salty or a little bit too salty. But when you pair it with the mashed potatoes, the mashed potatoes kind of take away some of that saltiness. If you ever find yourself in a situation where something is just a little bit too salty, tone it down with some potatoes or something like that to help mellow it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of Dollar Tree rendition of Bangers and Mash. And again, I'm just taking some inspiration from Bangers and Mash. I'm in no way claiming this is authentic by any means. But I do hope you guys enjoy and I will see you again soon.